Now, on the eve of the budget, the Social Democrats have stated that if they were in power, they would scrap water charges in tomorrow's budget and it would only cost 13 million euro. This claim was made by Deputy Stephen Donnelly, co-founder of the party earlier today. Now, we have with us now Nilo Tuhill, who is running for election with the Social Democrats in the upcoming general election. Nalia, welcome to the programme. Thanks for speaking with us. Thanks, Anne-Marie. Good to be on. Now, you would scrap water charges altogether in tomorrow's budget if in power. Uh, that's right. So, And it actually won't cost that much to do it. Uh, I mean, at the current, uh, uh, we estimated at about £13 million And how that breaks down is, at the moment, if we continue with the rate of people that are going to pay, it would collect around £136 million. Now, we would also, at the same time, we would stop the water, con- the water conservation grant. So that's about, out of that £136 million, that's down another 80, so you're around around 56. And then with, with some other savings, including the cost of administering the grant and the cost of billing, we're down to around around 13 million. That includes some additional restructuring costs. And so those, those assumptions are quite conservative. It may actually be a net saving to abolish the cost. And it just goes to show kind of like how we in the Social Democrats just have seen this as not a, a, a policy that's been just so poorly implemented. And in terms of practicality, how would this work? Uh, well, it would work quite simply. So we would just we would stop the the uh, the uh, you wouldn't get any more water bills. Um, you wouldn't get the conservation grant either. And then it would mean that there would be a slimming down of Irish water to reflect the fact that they're not billing anymore. So that 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 re- reduction in the cost of billing would save around forty four million a year. And would this mean the removal of water meters? Uh, no, well, we're, we're looking at all options in terms of saving costs from this because it's just really been a disastrous uh, implementation of the policy from start to finish. Um, we don't know, and it's very hard to get transparency on this, but we don't know what legal avenues there are to stop the, the water metering. So if we can't stop it, then we'll, we'll basically take the approach that would, that would save the taxpayer the most money. Um, if we can't stop it, we'll keep them in, but, but we won't be able to use them for for charging people you'd just be able to use it for whatever you could get out of reducing leaks so you haven't looked into the social democrats haven't looked into the legal aspects of this well we, we've tried it's just it's very hard whenever there's there's so little transparency around irish water and it's set up and um, that we just don't have access to the contracts we don't know who like how they can be unwound if they can be unwound so until until government is willing to be open about this, it's very hard for us to know what exactly the legal implications are of of the water metering. Now we we do know about what the cost of abolishing water charges are, and and that's and so we've put out a proposal today in regards to that. And it, just in relation to tomorrow's budget in general, you'd cut the USC by 0.5 percent. That's right, and so and that's targeted on on everyone that, that's earning less than 70,000 70, euros. Um, now, in, in general, our approach has been to focus on investing in vital services rather than reducing taxes. So we've announced a huge increase in, say, childcare, just something that, would, that wouldn't have been matched before uh, in the state. And with that, not only is that kind of a good thing for parents, but it's also a great return on investment for society. For every euro that we invest, in high quality childcare, we get seven euros back in the long term. We've, we've announced funding for the health for the health crisis, including for to fix the A and E A and E problems, and and to invest hugely in, in preventative care and community care, so we can give much more care out in the community where it's going to be cheaper because you're using less doctors, and where you prevent a lot more disease. And I see here that you would introduce a cap on childcare fees as well. That, that's right. So, so everything that we're trying to do is around is is around uh, investing properly in public services and trying to make it easier for, particularly like like young young families are very heavily affected by by the increases in housing costs, by the increases in childcare costs, and so we're trying to do everything we can to make it uh, to to make their burden more manageable. And roughly, where would these, where would the cap on childcare fees fall? Um, I don't, I don't have specific figures, but I can get back to you, Anne. 
Okay, and you've claimed that 3,000 more teachers, 900 primary healthcare workers and a paternity leave revamp, basically. Is that right? That, that's right. So we've announced two, two, uh, two, uh, two weeks for paternity leave. Whenever I lived in Portugal, uh, I was lucky to have that and it was just a fantastic help at that time of our lives whenever we had our first son. And so we're, we're proposing that and then an extra 10 weeks of paternity leave. And so that, that's going to that's going to allow parents to spend much more time at home with their kids and during that during that uh, the start of their baby's lives. It sounds particularly great. Where do you see tomorrow's budget going? Do you see much of this included in it? I think you'll see parts of it. Um, I mean, obviously, the the government have decided that they're going to go fifty fifty mm-hmm. in terms of in terms of spending versus tax cuts, um, and so they'll have much less scope to to. Uh, to propose some of the things that we're proposing. Um, we, we strongly feel that there is a role for government in public services and that we should be working to improve our public services. And so, so this is the route that we've gone that's, that's very different to the one currently being proposed by the government. Nilo O'Toole of the Social Democrats, thanks a million for speaking with us. Great, thank you, Amory.